Hey guys, William Murphy here, and welcome back to part 5 of the BMW Z4 overhaul. We've finished on the front, so now I'm turning my attention to the rear. So let's get stuck in. I know you don't love me like you say you do. Uh. Like many BMWs, the rear brake setup is a little bit different to your conventional car. Um, I say conventional car, I'm obviously used to classic cars where they've got drum brakes on the rear and sometimes drums on the front. So what we have here, I'm going to show you, what we have here is the rear disc brake setup. The caliper is pretty much the same as the front, the piston just moves in and out when you have depress the foot pedal. The handbrake is controlled through here, so it's actually controlled through some brake shoes. So. Inside here you've got a shoe that goes around here, a shoe that goes around here, and I believe there's an adjuster at the bottom. So we're going to try and work out how to de-adjust that because at the moment it's pretty tight and I think I'm going to might struggle to get that brake off. The handbrake is off, so I'm going to de-adjust it um, through the drum, remove the caliper, and uh, hopefully this will go to plan. So, get some tools, let's get cracking. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not entirely sure about this one. Uh, the last one I did of these was a I think five series, and it had like a, a turning wheel, and as you rotated it, it expanded. So I'm going to have to get onto the internet and work out how to de-adjust these, but I'll be back. So, then I click Google, I'm an idiot. So, down here they have the, almost like a, like a spring effectively, which works the handbrake uh, lever. Up here is a winding wheel. So I'll de-adjust that now and hopefully that'll get the, uh, the disc off. <laughs> Into the shops, I've got some uh, brake cleaner. I'm just going to squirt all this up with brake cleaner and hopefully try and clean up these pads or these shoes as best as possible. Now that the shoes are all cleaned up, I'm going to let that dry and it pretty much absorbs into the air within a matter of seconds. Um, hello, boy. Come back, please. Um, once that's on, once that's all dry, I'm going to put the disc on and adjust up the handbrake using this adjuster over here, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and then, that'll be the handbrake side of it. It's done. And then, like all the other corners so far, I've got to clean up this caliper. Um, that should clean up pretty well, to be honest. Um, also clean up the caliper, caliper carrier. Again, that should clean up pretty well. Give them a little paint, put a new piston inside that. Put it back together, and that's this corner done. Across to the last corner, and there's a few other little niggly jobs I've got to do um, before I hand the car back. And this is the adjuster. So it's got this cog, and you can rotate one way to to shorten that uh, thread, and you can adjust it the other way, and it widens the thread, and obviously pushes the shoes up to adjust up more accordingly. Um, so at the moment, it's wound in pretty much all the way. You can see the gap at the bottom. So what I'll do is I'll wind it in to make it flat. Just literally get a screwdriver and uh, you can push it. So, what that means is that when the new disc goes on, it will be much easier to adjust because it, well, much easier to fit the disc on for starters and then much easier to adjust because it's set at the completely bottom setting. Right, I've sprayed in the inside here with a uh, brake cleaner. So there should be no issues with squeaking or anything like that. So, 
put a bit of copper grease on here as well just to make sure that when it comes off next it'll come off relatively easy and not get stuck to that um, flange. So to adjust it I'm going to go this way towards the back of the car to rotate that. <laughs> Right, it's getting pretty tight now to turn that adjuster because that's now locked on. So now, back it off, and that should be pretty good. Excellent. Let's get these parts cleaned up, ready for paint. As you can see, I've had a bit of a clear out. It's tidied up, so I've got some space on my workbench to work on. Um, the caliper itself is now ready to be stripped down and painted. I'm going to be replacing the pistons in this as well. So it's got new pistons all around. Um, and I'm going to try and show you on camera how to get that piston out without using a compressor. Um, Fingers crossed it will work, but only time will tell. Uh, if not, I have to go down to the local garage and use their compressor because, as I say, mine's not working. So, let's start stripping it down. So there we have it, that is the first coat completed. Um, the second coat will be added on hopefully later on today. Um, I've kind of messed up a little bit to be honest because I could have done with stripping the other side off and cleaning them calipers up, but I can't now because obviously these are getting painted and I don't want dust going everywhere. So uh, yeah, it's not, not the best, but we will make do with what we got. Just seen a run, I'm gonna attack that. But, uh, yeah, the caliper pistons should be here hopefully today or tomorrow. If they are here today, that is fantastic. Because what it means is that later on this evening, I thought later on today, I can give us a second coat. Uh, then it means that I can do um, push the pistons in either tonight with the paint dry or first thing tomorrow morning and then tackle the other side. Um, it could potentially mean that by Thursday, Friday, um, or by the weekend at least, this car should be finished. Uh, I've had a slight hiccup with the uh, the powder coaters. Um, unfortunately, they are moving premises, so it means that um, they won't be able to do the wheels this side of 2019. So, um, it's looking like 2020, the wheels are going to get done. 
um, but they have assured me they will be one of the first sets to get done. A um, little bit annoying because I could have really done with the car getting gone, but what we might do is put the original wheels and tyres back on, and then when uh, they're set up in their new, uh, new unit, I can go down and get the stuff sorted then. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here for now. So, um, back in a bit. Right, look at this. So, I'm back for the second coat. Let's get painting. Now two coats done. Um, and hopefully they're gonna dry overnight. I'm gonna go check and see if my parcels arrive for the new pistons. Once that's arrived, I can fit the piston to the caliper. Piston kits turn up. Just need to cut these off and I can start rebuilding that caliper. Finished, all four brakes are done. Uh, the brakes have been completely overhauled, stripped down, the pistons removed, seals removed, um, everything's been refreshed um, on the caliper side of things. I haven't changed any of the brake lines, hoses, etc. But that, you know, they don't need doing, they're in really good condition anyway. Uh, the calipers have received a fresh coat of jazz blue paint, which hopefully you'll agree looks phenomenal. So I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching and following this journey so far. Um, if you have enjoyed this content, please click that thumbs up button, comment down below, and if you can, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss on any future content. I will leave this here, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.